This fire destroyed thousands of acres, but also consumed hundreds of years of Native American history in its path. The Santa Clara Pueblo people spent the rest of their summer keeping their uncharred land free of flash flooding. Now, more signs that life at the Pueblo is getting back to normal with the reopening of the Puye Cliff Dwellings. Scott Daniels is live in the Newsplex with that story. Tim, the historic landmark was untouched as the Los Conchas fire was put out just one mile away. After four months, the Santa Clara Pueblo is back giving tours and teaching visitors about the old ruins. How did, how did they have to get their water? From Big Potty. Tourists visit the Puye Cliffs to hear stories of the Pueblo Indians. Stories passed down from generations share how difficult it was living inside these caves. Nestled in the steep rock, the Pueblo Indians were secure from outside threats. 1,000 years later, the cliffs were protected again, this time from the Las Conchas fire. We saw uh, 200 to 300 foot flames from our village, um, and this Puye was used as a outlook for the forestry and hand crews who were working the fire. Lucretia Williams gives tours to visitors around her people's land. 16,000 acres of the Santa Clara Pueblo Reservation were devoured in the massive Las Conchas fire that destroyed dozens of homes and at one point threatened the town of Los Alamos. The flames finally stopped about a mile away from the cliff dwellings. Then came the flash flooding. Sacred sites that have been a part of our community, a part of our history, uh, similar to sites like Puye that were washed away in the flooding. In the end, though, the dwellings were spared. This weekend was the first weekend in four months that the tourists got to see the ruins up close. And they aren't disappointing. Those who came from across the country say the scenery blew them away. It's like landing in a completely different world. The operations manager says the cliffs average about 60 visitors a day during the cliffs peak tourist summer season. This weekend, they surpassed that 75 people came by the, to climb the cliffs. Tim? All right, thank you, Scott. The cliff dwellings are open to tours seven days a week, weather permitting.